good evening everybody I just wanted to pop on really quickly I've gotten um, a lot of questions from people about the weights of my decoupage paper so I have some examples here you guys are gonna sneak peek of a few of my new designs um, this lighting is terrible I don't know how to fix that and the bad thing is I have my new lighting kit but I just didn't feel like pick, setting it up but it's okay because we're talking primarily about paperweights so I wanted to talk about the different um, paperweights that are available on my shop and kind of the pluses and minuses of each although they're all pluses but there are some things that people like and dislike about each weight and so um, the first one that I want to talk about is the 10 pound tissue so this is a super lightweight one this is the same weight um, that you use when you cheat and you use gift bags you know and then you stuff the tissue at the top so nobody can see what's in it this is the weight that this tissue is so the plus of using this weight is that when you decoupage with it it literally disappears into the paint you cannot see it which means you can actually cut out your favorite parts of this tissue and layer it and it all looks like it's one layer so this is fabulous um, the minus is also the weight because if you're new to decoupage, you probably do not want to start with a 10 pound weight. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Joanne. Um, you don't want to start with a 10 pound because it is so lightweight is the plus. It is also the frustration because if you stick it in the wrong place, you try to reposition it, it it's, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out because once it gets wet, it's like done. And so I have a love hate relationship with this weight. Um, it's still a good product though. You just have to be patient to use it. And then the other thing about this weight is you can see here that there is this little bitty line in the fold um, that's here. So when you're using it with the white designs, it's not as prevalent, but when you're buying the full color designs, it can be more prevalent. Um, and so I contacted the manufacturers and they told me that it's how they print the paper and it's just one of the things we have to deal with so um yeah but if you order this tissue the line should not be any bigger than this if you get one and there's like a really big space there then you contact zazzle and they will send you a replacement because that's not okay but it is something that we have to deal with with this one hey peggy hey carol and so that's a 10 pound super lightweight Wonderful disappears into the paint um, But because it is so lightweight, it's not as durable as some of the other papers So if you're new to decoupage, you probably don't want to start with this one um, It does have that little bitty line in the bottom, which isn't a deal breaker. Hey Marion, but it can be a deal breaker for some people and This is a 17 by 23 inch sheet, which is pretty big But this is the largest that you can buy in a 10 pound. So that's a 10 pound sheet um, the other weight is the 18 pound sheet. This weight is kind of like, I don't know, it's lighter than wrapping paper, but it's heavier than the tissue. So, I don't know. It's a little heavier. This one is a little more durable. You can reposition it and you'll notice that the design is full colored. There isn't any break. Hey, Debbie. There isn't any break in the printing. Um, the printing process that they use on these sheets is different. So you won't have that line in the middle of your design. Um, if you look up really closely, you can see that it's a continuous design, which is nice. Um, this is one of my newer ones. I don't know if you guys have seen my collection, the ladies. I don't know why. I just love these. I actually have a project I'm working on right now. I can't wait to reveal. I won't tell you what it is, but... I can't wait to reveal that one. So you'll see also that the 18 pound comes in these huge sheets. This is 20 by 30, which is nice because you don't have to piece it together if you're decoupaging drawer fronts. It's usually enough to cover. Now this design is portrait, um, but I also have another design that is, oh, and this is my compliment to the lady is this beautiful um, floral that I have. I'm working on a project right now. Um, hey, Bonnie. Um, so I'll be, hopefully, hopefully. I'm still, look, I waited to go live until I'm like fully, like, you know, my pony is still pulled tight. 
I still dress for work because usually when you guys see me, I'm a hot mess. So I figured I'd come on before I get comfortable. But this pony is coming down in like five minutes. Um, so this is the 18 pound, uh, no line and the printing. It's huge. It's still pretty lightweight. Hi, Cindy. It's still pretty lightweight though. Um, this one though, you'll probably have a little more luck repositioning when you decoupage. Um, this is probably the most popular weight because you still have the benefit of the lightweight, um, but it comes in the largest size and you don't have to worry about a line. So if you guys will look, um, I did not make this fine art floral in the 10 pound because I knew that line was gonna be an issue. So I didn't wanna have that. You like that one, Joanne? It's beautiful, huh? Um, and so this is another portrait. Although with the fine art floral, you can really use it either way, right? So if you had drawers that were wider, look at that. That is so wide. That's 30 inches wide, right? So you could use that on a lot of drawer fronts or a lot of larger um, decoupage projects. But I do have, I don't know if I want to show you guys. This is one of my ones that I haven't listed yet. Um, this one is Landscape. So the design actually goes wide, which is nice, right? Um, because then if you have drawers that are wider than they are tall, oh, I don't think this one is, is it the same size? Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, how funny, it looks smaller for some reason. But So this one's a landscape design. Now on my ones that are not like, that are the collages, I try to create, hey Kim, um, and Tonda, is that how you say your name, Tonda? I hope I'm saying that right. I try to create landscape and portrait options for those so that you guys can use them however you say, see fit. And I've also been making complimentary papers um, in my collections lately. So I'm hoping you guys are really liking that because it gives you more options um, in your design. Now the heaviest weighted paper, um, my newest compliment that I've made, sorry, I'm like, a, there's a squirrel over here. I got distracted. Is my buffalo check. Isn't that so much fun? Like all my holiday designs. I have like tons of this. All my smalls for Christmas. Um, so Rennell is asking if you need to iron these before you use them. Generally speaking, when you decoupage, the wrinkles come out. So you're, you really don't have to iron them. But you can. And for the, the 18 pound sheet, a lot of folks are doing the iron-on decoupage method anyway. So you're ironing out those as you lay it down. So I have some people who do iron out the wrinkles, um, but you don't have to. It's up to you. Um, but this is my new favorite, my buffalo check. I don't know if you guys saw my porch post because I'm trying to um, write. Now, I designed this last year for my private collection, um, but I've seen so many people using it, so I went ahead and listed it because I know everybody's. And I actually spent time tonight. I created a red check, a green check, and then a neutral. So lots more options. Those are all listed in the Christmas um, collection. But I don't know if they're listed yet because I just did them. So we'll see what happens. The third weight is the heaviest weight. And this is essentially, it's wrapping paper. I know, right, Joanne? Love, love, love. Um, they're not on my website, Maggie. So if you go to, um, I'll put a link at the top of this when I get done, Maggie, so you can click through. There are a lot more options on Zazzle than there are on my web on my webpage because it would take me forever to list them all on my website. So the ones on my website are the most popular designs, but they're not all of them. Um, this is the heaviest. This is a 60 pound. Um, oh, no problem now. If you guys have any questions, please ask me. I get a lot of private messages asking about paperweight, so I figured I'd come on. And you're probably going to ask me a question that somebody else wants to know. So um, if you ask me, I will try and answer. I still have my specs on, so I can actually see what you guys are saying. So this one is the 60 pound. And it is 30 by 36. I'm trying to see where this, this is probably not the best option. Because <laughs> I can't quite see. But when you order a roll of this, the one that's $15.80, you actually get two full 30 by 36 inch designs and this one right Tonda this is one of my favorites I love topography um, so I love this one I think on my contest this month um, somebody uses on a dresser front and it's super cute um, okay thank you Cindy so um, 
this is huge. I mean, these are huge. So you can imagine that you can do these on most drawer fronts and you won't have to piece it together or anything. Now this paper is heavier, which for some people is a plus and for some people is a minus. Um, I've seen remarks that some people prefer the 60 pound because the paper is heavier and a little more durable so they feel more comfortable decoupaging with this one. Um, there is the only issue with this paper and when you order this one make sure that you get the mats because if you get the glossy I just I don't know I, I don't know it doesn't work the same to me um, right it'd be awesome on a dresser so this one when you decoupage Ironing on is best. If you choose to do a wet decoupage, the color will run a little bit. It does. For some reason, this is not as color fast as the other papers, which is kind of the minus for this one. But if you're doing the iron on decoupage, then it's a non-issue. It's not a ton. The color just moves around just a little bit. Um, and if you're doing the iron on with a heavier paper like this one, so when we do the iron on method, which you guys have seen me do, on the lighter ones, I usually do two coats of the Wise All Varnish and then iron on. Um, when I use the 60 pound, I'll do three coats um, and then iron on. And I had one of my customers said that she wasn't successful with the iron on method. Yes, um, Francine is asking if you can do the iron on with the 60 pound paper. Absolutely. You can do the iron on with any of the papers. Just make sure, especially with the 10 pound, that you're using. Um, Oh, what is that paper called? That you're using the protective paper. Um, nice, Debbie. Um, so that you don't burn your paper. Not wax paper, but what do they call that? Oh my gosh, I'm pulling a blank. I'll remember in a little bit. Um, if you watch my um, tutorial, you'll see. Just make sure that you use a protective paper when you're ironing on so that you don't burn the paper. But this one is best suited for the iron-on method. So I had a customer message me and she said that when she ironed parchment, thank you, Joanne. Help us sister out. Make sure you use parchment paper so that you don't burn your paper when you're using the lighter sheets. But you can still iron on with all three weights. Somebody said that when they use the 60 pound and they iron on, that after it cooled off, that they got bubbles. Um, I have not experienced that. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that before, but um, I don't know. I know. <laughs> you guys help me out. Parchment paper. My brain is done. Um, I was running around today. I get everything done at work and so I'm a little I'm a little brain dead this evening but I haven't come on and visit with you guys in a while so I wanted to come on so the iron on method is best with this but you can decoupage with this absolutely I've seen a couple of projects I'm super excited about the contest it's coming to a close today is the what is today the eighth so you guys have until Friday to get your projects in for the contest so make sure that you get them in I've actually pinned the contest post at the top of my page so you guys can submit your pieces to win um, the new Wise Owl Clear um, Primer, which I'm excited about. You guys know that my favorite finish is, is black. I know. I love black paint with the wood peeking through. And I've always hated it because the chairs that you buy that are the most ornate, which speak to my steampunk heart, right, are the ones that have that super shiny I don't have the coffee to show. I don't think. Let me see. I have so much paper. If you guys saw my stash, it would just be ridiculous. I don't have the coffee roll to show. Um, I'm trying to see if I have it in the 18 pound sheets. I think I use it all. That's like my favorite Francine is that coffee. And when you order it, I actually, um, it has a t it it the picture has a texture to it, so it's not just it doesn't look like I just put like coffee on the paper. There's actually texture underneath it, and I picked a really fine texture on purpose so that it would it would look like a coffee sack. Um, let's see. Sometimes you just have to iron some more if it bubbles. That's my experience, and Debbie, you're right. That's my experience as well. I think maybe if you iron too much. Um, you may have some issues. I haven't had any issues. I usually, if I get some small bubbles, I put the parchment paper down and I go over it a little bit and then I'm good. So I'm not sure, but you know. Um, hi from Australia. Hey, Christine. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And so I'm gonna give you guys kind of a sneak peek of 
So I added a new collection because I work on projects. You should see my living room. I work on projects all the time. I don't always list everything I make. Um, but I found that there are a lot of people who like the same things that I liked. And so I have a new collection and it's called like Royce's Secret Stash. And they're just papers that I've made for very specific projects. So I don't know if you guys saw my post from yesterday, but like this is a paper I created to make a specific project. And I have somebody who wanted me to list it. So I'll list it under Royce's Secret Stash. So you guys can see all the weird stuff I make for myself. Um, Cause I love steampunk design and so those are generally what I make. I am working on a collection right now. I just have to make sure that I'm okay to use these images. And so I haven't listed these yet, but I'm going to be listing them soon. And they're like really cool art deco um, designs. You guys saw this one already, so I showed you that one. This one's actually my favorite. Favorite is this one. Isn't she like super cool? From Safford. Oh, Rapier. I saw that you ordered some papers. I hope you like them. Um, and so, and this would go, can you imagine this with Cherry Moon by Wise Owl? It would be absolutely gorgeous, right? Um, yes. Actually, Francine, I made a whole collection of Christmas papers. I don't have them here with me yet because they haven't made it to me yet. But if you go on um, the link that I put up top, you can look on my collections. And there's a whole collection of Christmas. Of course, it's my version of Christmas. So it's ephemera. There is some buffalo check in different colors. It won't be traditional Christmas, but it'll be um, my Christmas. You love her? Okay, Anna. I, I'm, I'm, these are my new listings. You guys are getting a sneak peek. So I'll be listing these probably next week. Um, this is another one. She's a mermaid, right? Super cool. This one, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to list this one. I have to do some double checking to make sure. But um, these are just gorgeous. I love them. And I'm hoping to be able to list them soon. So you guys are getting a serious sneak peek. Um, let's see, Robin says, I used a brayer after ironing while the paper is still warm. It helps to ensure the two surfaces meet without burning the paper. Oh, that's a really good tip. Robin, I may steal that for my next tutorial. Just so you know, Robin, fully be, being fully transparent here. And so um, that's a sneak peek on some of my new designs and kind of the differences between the different papers. So um, just to recap really quickly, oh yeah, this is one of my newer ones too. I don't know, I just love dandelions. So I need this one. I don't know, I like her. She's pretty. And she would look really nice with either a goldenrod or a beeswax from Wise Owl, right? With a little tourmaline. I don't know. I don't know how to say that right, but it's this really neutral green that Wise Owl have. Um, what's a brayer? Um, well, there's a. You can either use a flat one, like um, a, a. It's a flat piece of plastic with a smooth edge. You can bray them, or when people use rollerball, it can be. Um, they roll. To roll it down let's see do you have a preference between decoupage and iron-on um, I'm getting ready to use some of the gorgeous paper oh thank you is it Lois I hope I'm saying that right if not you can pinch me um, my preference I don't know for the 10 pound I really do prefer just regular old-fashioned decoupage um, for the heavier papers I do like using the iron-on method because I get a nice smooth finish um, without any wrinkles or bubbles. Um, a Christmas tree farm? Oh my gosh, Kim owns a Christmas tree farm. I am working, so I do have some Christmas designs up, but it's funny you say that, because I, I am working on a few more Christmas designs that involve a lot of trees, so we'll see. Those will be out, hopefully. I work, like, full-time, and I do this at night until, like, 2 a.m. I'm a crazy person in between painting. So we'll see what happens, Kim. I'm working on that. Um, I got off topic. See what you did, Kim? You just you distracted me. Now I forgot what I was talking about. Um, I think, let me see. Oh, my favorite. So um, for the 10 pound, I like good old fashioned decoupage because when I decoupage with this wet, it just literally just disappears into the paint and I love it. Oh, by the way, Joanne, 
Uh, Zazzle has 20% off the whole site today. So it's a good time to log on. It's like 20%. So this one, oops, that's upside down. I like to use old fashioned decoupage with it because it really does melt into the paint. And then with the heavier ones, I do prefer the iron on. The only thing with the iron on method, everyone panics because when you go in the next day to put your, your water based, um, sealer over the top, you do get wrinkles with the 18 pound and the 10 pound and you get bubbles with the heavier paper. But if you just walk away and leave it, most of that will come out as the paper shrinks. Um, they'll go away um, and if you have any bubbles left over you can go back over with the parchment paper and a little bit of heat and you can iron those out so I hope that answers your question love birds <laughs> iron those suckers out right Joanne so that's the the um, experience that I've had um, one of the reasons I don't like using the glossy paper is I find that I have more issues with the glossy paper and I think it has to do with the top coat not being able to permeate that paper um, but that's just Royce. I don't have any scientific evidence to say that as such. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to pop on tonight and say hey to everybody. Oh, really quickly. So, Wise Owl has a new collection of colors coming out for the fall. But I can't tell you guys what they are yet. So, I will be making an announcement tomorrow. I love so many of the colors in the collection. But there are two colors that I am absolutely in love with. I've already ordered them. I cannot wait to get them in my hands so that I can make pretty stuff with them. So you guys make sure and come back and visit me tomorrow for the big reveal of the new Wise Owl colors for the fall. They are gorgeous. Gore. Gorgeous. Um, I've been working on another project. Um, <laughs> Joanne. Um, I've been working on another project. Uh, that's taken me forever to get done, but I'm getting closer to being finished. So I'm hoping to be able to make an announcement by the end of the week about that. Um, it's my first, like, you know, filmed and edited tutorial. So I'm really excited to bring that to you later on this week. So a big announcement tomorrow with the new Wise Owl paint colors. And then another big announcement at the end of the week. Just in time for the holidays um, for a paint technique that you can do to update furniture just like that. Well, it's not just like that. There's a lot of steps, but it's worth every bit of it. Um, and so I'll be making that announcement later on this week. I do, Lena. I design these papers. Um, what time tomorrow? Paula, my life is not that organized. I don't know what time tomorrow. Probably early. You guys will get to see me at work. I'm going to cheat and close the door so my employees can't see me um, going on live on my Facebook. So I'll probably do that tomorrow morning at work. Um, so that I can get the announcement out. Although, <sighs> Wise Owl is on the East Coast, so I'm sure there'll be um, retailers that'll beat me to the punch mm. because they'll be up earlier than I am. But yep. um, I'll make the <laughs> announcement first thing in the morning. Yeah. Well, not first thing in the morning. Early in the morning to mm. show all the gorgeous colors and to show you guys my absolute, absolute favorite. I am so in love with this color. I cannot wait to get it. I love it almost as, love, as much as I love the Abyss when it came out. Um, so I'll be making that announcement tomorrow. <laughs> I know, Kim. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. You guys will get to see my desk. I have like, um, hey, Deborah. I know I'm a hot mess, right? I have some of my, um, more mature customers who tell me that I chit chat too much. They want me to get down to the business, but I can't help it. I get distracted. Um, so that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, if you guys have any questions, of course, you can always message me and I'll be happy to answer your questions for you. Um, but I do get a lot of questions about the paperweight, so I just want to come on and see. <laughs> right, Paula? My life is insanity. I never know. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty busy, but I cannot, I still haven't, I showed this like a couple of months ago, but I haven't had an opportunity to use it just yet. Um, so I'm hoping to. Right now I'm working on a super pretty desk that I'm painting with Blood Moon um, from Wise Owl. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know I shouldn't say that about my own work. It's the color though. It's beautiful. I'm working on the mirror right now. And oh, I was going to tell you guys, Joni um, from Painting in the Raw just showed us this super cool technique um, on how to make your mirror super special. So 
Joni, I'm going to be copying you and working on my mirror. And I'm hopefully going to be able to reveal that by this weekend so you can see what I've learned. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, you're welcome, Kim. Thank you guys so much. I didn't expect to see this many people log on with me today because it's a spur of the moment. Um, I will be on in the morning. I don't know what time to reveal the color for Wise Owl. And then hopefully by Friday, I'll be able to make my big announcement about what I have coming up. Now, you guys, keep in mind, I'm doing this. I will be getting married in, what's today? Today is the 7th? No, today is the 8th. So in 19 days, thank you, Paula. In 19 days, I will be getting married. So I keep on planning all this stuff. And... <sighs> And I'm in the middle of planning a wedding. And um, you guys see me mostly do furniture, but I upcycle everything. So my wedding is like doors and windows. And um, I asked one of my seniors to sew me some runners using um, <laughs> dictionary pages. And she looked at me like I was absolutely crazy. Thank you, Kim. Um, but <laughs> I will be upcycling like tons of stuff. I think I'm more excited about the decorations than I am about my dress. Is that crazy? Thank you, Kay. Um, but I can't wait to see it. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you guys so much. I know David is such a good wingman, and so he's a keeper. So we're going to keep him. But I am signing off. I will see you guys tomorrow morning to make the announcement about the white owl paint colors. And they will be available on my website. Um, and one of these days when I get more savvy... All of my stuff will be in one place. Um, but right now, you know, I'll put a link for my Zazzle shop where you guys can um, um, log on to get the tissue paper. And if you want paint, making an 8x8 barn door for our son's wedding. Right? That is so cool, Kim. So my backdrop, I have like four different doors. They're all different colors. And we're just going to put um, hinges on them and put them all together for my backdrop. And then um, the lady who's helping me decorate for my wedding thinks I'm crazy. But I have these old rusty bed springs and we're going to put lights in them. And it's just going to be completely industrial and steampunk and Victorian. I don't know. I'm very eclectic. It's going to be a lot of different things. I have 25 tables to set with silver and succulents so that's gonna be fun I gotta start working on that um, cricket from um, freckle barn hey cricket cut me out 125 years with her laser cutter out of wood and so I have to get those painted I don't know lots of stuff thank you guys so much for your congratulations I appreciate it um, you have springs on your ceiling right Kim I have springs from, I keep saying I'm going to leave. I know. You guys keep engaging me. I have, a, it's crib springs from like a really old crib mattress. It's all rusty. It's beautiful and it's the perfect size. I'm hoping I can hang it over the cake table. We'll see, Kim. Because that's why I'm thinking like a chandelier, right? Over the cake table would be so cool. I know. I don't know, Kim. If we got together, there might be problems. I have a couple of friends here that I pick with. And our husbands do not like it when we get together because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we get together and it's just, it's good for us, but it's not good for them. It usually means extra welding for them, um, extra work for them, but we love it. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'll be posting pictures from the wedding, all the decorations, because I'm super excited about it. Um, my dress is coming in. Nothing fancy. Just something comfortable. I'm wearing flip-flops to my reception because I'm dancing all night. Yes, I'm going to actually post pictures of my wedding decor. Uh, my fiance thinks I'm crazy because I'm making all this stuff. And like, seriously, I'll be posting it for sale because I'm only going to get married once. So we'll see. So I'll be posting tons of pictures of all my decorations. Uh, my friend Trisha from Prickly Pear Blossoms, who is really my partner in crime, She's letting me borrow this gorgeous cast iron scale. It's black um, to put my wedding cake on. I don't know. I know. I'm going to bed. Actually, Kim, it is only 8 o'clock here, mm -hmm. over here in Arizona. So it's not that, that late. But I do need to go and cook dinner. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace out. Message me if you guys have any questions. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Wait.